Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we'll see the Chrome options in Selenium. Now, Chrome option is a class that's used to perform certain activities that's basically not performed by the drivers. So first, we'll see what exactly the Chrome option is and what are the methods that helps to perform the Chrome action. So the Chrome options class is a concept in Selenium Web Driver for manipulating various properties of Chrome driver. So the properties of Chrome drivers that's not readable or it's like Chrome driver missed few properties, those properties are handled by Chrome option. So Chrome option is a new concept added in Selenium web drivers, starting from Selenium version 3.6.0, which is used for customizing the Chrome driver sessions. So here Chrome driver, Chrome options are used to customize the Chrome driver session. So in Chrome driver, basically we have different sessions. Like if we want to add any options to our uh, drivers, or if we want to add some more methods to our driver, then we can add through Chrome options. So the methods for Chrome driver class is this: like Chrome option, we create a reference of Chrome option. Then if we want to add extension, then I'll say options dot add extension, and I'll pass the file extension. And then in Chrome driver, you see in the constructor of Chrome driver, the options is passed. So along with the Chrome driver, we are adding an extension. So we can't add extension straight away using Chrome driver. So for that, Chrome option comes into use. In the second syntax, you see a proxy related details are here. So these details, we can't straight away add to our project or we can't straight away add our to our code using Selenium web drivers. So just to help here, the Chrome option comes into use and using the Chrome option object, we add all the required files or details. Once all are added, then in that case, we then add those options to our Chrome driver in constructor. So along with Chrome driver, we can use these options as well. That's the use of Chrome options in Selenium. So we'll see how this Chrome options is used in the examples below. When we'll be trying more examples, we'll see the Chrome option uses. Right now, this is just an overview of Chrome option. So here we'll see what desired capabilities are and how we use it. So basically, desired capability is a class in Selenium used to set properties of the browser to perform cross-browser testing of web application. It stores the capabilities as keys value pair, and these capabilities are used to set browser properties like browser name, browser versions, path of browser drivers in the system, etc., to determine the behavior of the browser at runtime. So Chrome options and desired capabilities are two things that usually work along with the drivers. So in case of Chrome options, we add the options, we add the extensions, we add some informations that we want to add to our web page. In case of desired capabilities, we add the informations related to the browsers. And also you can say related to the systems we add. So the methods in desired capabilities are get browser name, get version, get set version, set browser name, get platform, set platform, get capabilities method, set capabilities method. So all these uh, get all these methods are in form of get and set where we set the browser name, we set the version, we talk about the platform, we talk about the capabilities means like uh, which details of the browsers, details of the browsers that which browsers we are using, all these informations we add using desired capabilities. So desired capability is basically a class provided along with the Chrome driver to just share the information related to the browsers. So that's all the use of desired pub capabilities are. So I hope the difference between the desired capabilities and the Chrome option is quite clear from these two videos. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we'll see how to upload a file in Selenium. So now we'll see how to upload a file from a web page straight away to the Selenium. So file upload is performed when there is need to upload any file or document on specific websites such as form, registration page, document loaders, etc. So uploading a file process includes browsing a file from the desired location or from our computer and uploading it to the website.
So basically what we do, it's like when we fill the forms, it's like when we are adding certain files, we upload the files there. So using automation, we are trying to check that how we can upload the files or how we can update the files to the desired location. Now methods for file upload. So there are three different methods. One is like by using SendCase, that's the most common and easy method to perform. Next one is using auto IT tools. And the last one is with the help of robot class. That's a different thing. So basically these are different methods to upload file. So in our example, we'll see how to upload file using the send keys. Now as usual, we'll create a class and name this class as upload class. Steps that's required. Now here, let's understand that where we are going to upload the file. That's another thing. At which particular website you are going to upload this file. So let's open that. And let's see how to upload file. So let's copy this. And let me share you the website where we are going to perform this task of upload the file. So this is place. This is the place where we are going to upload the file. So this is the location where we go. We click on upload all and we get the options to upload the file. So first we will choose a file, a single file. We'll choose a file from here, whichever file it is that file we will open and then we will click on upload all and that particular file will be uploaded. Now this thing we'll do through code. So here in get method, I'm going to pass the website link here. That is this. Now after this using browser object. Now the next step here is after the get method, the next step is we will locate the button or we'll locate the button which will help us to upload the file. So once I click on this button, that is choose file, then here I have to send the path at which particular file name. So I have to send the file name and then click the open button. So here, we do that. Just we locate that button. Once the button is located, the next thing that we are going to do here is we are going to use send keys to upload file. So in send keys, I'll pass the location of the file that I'm going to upload. So this is the file that I'm going to upload. I'll add, I'll pass that. And then in the next line, what I'm going to do is in next line, I'll click on that upload all button so that uh, so that the file that's copied is uploaded over here. Now these all locators basically I've located based on XPath and I put it here. So you can do the same at the end you perform click. So whichever file is added that will be uploaded. So though it looks a very difficult thing, but it's a very simple just go click choose a file in using send keys pass the location of the file. So this is the location of my file. I passed it and after that just click the upload all button and the complete process will upload here. Now let's run and see how it works. Is the file uploaded or not? So you see here update code dot text. This one is uploaded. So the file that we are looking to upload is uploaded here in the Firefox. So this is how we upload the file to the form or a current web page using send keys method. That's all in this video. Thank you. Now this is very interesting. Here we'll see if a test case fails, then how we can generate a screenshot. Now usually when you when you write a multiple line of code and if you come across any error, then what do you do? You go to that particular line and find where the error is. But instead of that, if you get a screenshot, you can easily figure it out that, oh, here it was the error and you'll go and resolve it straight away. So first see how to get these screenshots. Why do you take screenshots? 
While executing the test case, a tester will face a number of issues. For example, sometimes test case fails because of timeout exception or because finding an element on web page was difficult. In such cases, it becomes very easy to analyze the issue with the help of screenshot rather than using 100 lines of code. So through a screenshot, easily you can figure it out that, oh, at this particular location, you have the problem. So you'll go straight away there to the changes and run the code. Now, how to take screenshot? There are two ways to take a screenshot. Basically, there are two methods to take screenshot. The first one is take screenshot is the method that used to take screenshot. And to save the screenshot in desired location, you will use get screenshot as. Again, here you will use output type that defines the output type or a required screenshot in our snippet. So we'll use these three things to execute the screenshot process. And we'll do on this, we'll try this example here. So this is one demo ID Learn 360 page. This is a login process. So here we click on the login button. We enter the username, we enter the password, and then click the login button to login. So the same thing we'll do here through automation. So here I'll just create a new class and name this class as screenshot class. And take this main method and do finish. So I'll pass the website link here. And after this, I'll pass the details to automate the login process. Now I have this code written. So straight away, I'll take that and post it here. But the process is similar, like just go inspect and do it. You'll have the desired output. So now here I've passed the code to locate the element to perform click. Then I have entered the username and password. Now this username and password is not valid. So it's obvious that this test case will fail. And using web element, I send the username and password. Now when I do login, this test case will fail. So at this point, I would like to generate the screenshot. So here I'll write code for the screenshot straight away. So I'll write the screenshot code by using now. Once the screenshot is generated, obviously you like to put that in some particular field or a folder. So that's why we'll use the file class here. And this take screenshot is used to basically take the screenshot. Now output type will give you the expected output and this files will import it so that we get the location just the screenshot the one that's generated it moves to the location now here i'll add the throw uninterrupted success io exception so that the code exceptions will be controlled now once this is done i'll save this and run this and see how it's functioning So what happens here? If you see, you are not able to log in. Now this screen, screenshot should be generated. And this should be available in the location where it's mentioned. At which particular location? In desktop, in sample, there will be an image named as username dot jpg. So here, let me go to this desktop folder. And in desktop folder, here is the sample. And in sample, you see you have username dot jpg. So that means the screenshot is moved to the folder that's mentioned there. So this is how we generate the screenshots. And uh, this is how we store the scre screenshots to a preferred location. So there you can go and just watch the screenshot and just take a node of it that, okay, at this point, the code is wrong and you can go and do the changes. So this is how we execute the screenshot. Hey, welcome back. In this video, we are going to see how to download a file in Selenium. The last time we saw how to upload a file in Selenium. Now we'll see how to download a file in Selenium. It's very simple. So here you'll be using the Chrome options. So, and here you need to set the Chrome options using the preference. 
uh, basically here you have to mention the download default directory and the directory path where you will store the download file. So Chrome option, you'll see the use of Chrome option that we have talked in the last videos that uh, how we are using the Chrome option and how it's helping us to do. So in this, options helps, uh, helps to set the preference of Chrome browser, default directory, download default directory used for changing the default download directory. It will change that uh, usually when we download, it goes to the default directory. But here by doing this uh, download default directory, this will change our default directory and it will go to the one where we are expecting to download and add experimental option, all users to add these preferences to their Selenium web driver. So these are different methods and these are different sections that you will be adding to your Chrome options. Now, when you will do this practically, you'll get a better idea. But before that, let's understand what exactly we are going to do in this. So this is the website link. Usually when we do download, we go and download the preferred folder. Here, we'll download this folder through code. Now, how's that possible? We'll see here. So first of all, I'll create a class and name this class as download file. And as usual, first I'll set the path of driver. Now I'll not go with the Chrome driver straight away. Instead, first I'll go with the Chrome options. Just below this, I'll write the Chrome options. So what are the Chrome options here? The Chrome options will be now here. We are trying to map the values, map the values in form of like we are, uh, we'll map using uh, in form of strings and object. So here, so here by using Chrome options, we'll use this map class. And mapping is used when we are trying to pass multiple values. So here what we are doing, using mapping, we are passing the values in form of keys and values. So this becomes my key. That means the default directory where I'm trying to put. So here I'm trying to put the values in form of keys and the values pair. So this is the key. That means it says the default directory should be this. So it will not take the default di directory, the one that we do usually downloading. So this will be now my default directory and that what I add to my Chrome driver. So this is where the Chrome options help us. The Chrome option help us to add uh, information to our current driver. Now using this options, we set the experimental options. We, we pass the preferences. Now, in the next line, we'll define the Chrome driver details. So we'll define the Chrome driver details like here. I'll mention the Chrome driver and in the constructor, I'll pass this options. Now this Chrome option contains all the informations that's required here. Now here, once this is done, using get method, I'll pass the website link and also I'll do this driver.manage.windows.maximize. So this will maximize the windows. So everything is done. Now what we are going to do is just we'll run the code and see whether we can download the file or not. So now let's run this and see how it looks like. So here, what happens? It's not able to download. It's just because I have maximized this or it's like it would straight away download. So let me save this and run this again. So it opens the Chrome driver again and the download is still not happening. Or let me check the download folder. Is this added? The downloads is added to the sample or not? So this is our downloads folder. And in download, I don't find any sample folder that means it's not downloading now let me check why it's not downloading okay the thing that's not defined here is which particular folder you have to download i missed that so here after opening this website what you have to do is you need to mention that which particular zip folder you have to download you have to mention that so here i'll write code for that as well so i'll say driver.find element by link text so this is the text based on this text it will find the element and then perform click on it. Now let's run this code. So it opens the page and then it goes, clicks on the driver and the folder is downloaded basically. Now just to see whether this thing is downloaded or not, you can go to your downloads folder in your system and inside download, you'll find a sample folder created. This is a sample folder created. So that means this Chrome driver is added to 
the sample folder, that's the location. So this is how you download the file. Just you need to know this Chrome options and what values we are passing in the Chrome option and in which form. Rest, it will do on its own. That's all in this video. Till then, bye-bye. Thank you.